Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to have a look at the public test server and changes to robot and laser turret damage. In order to do that, I need to give you a baseline. So we are going to start out on the live server so we can show how things are right now. Uh, obviously I'm in a silo. Uh, my character is wearing uh, just a mix of secret service armor. Uh, I don't have any, there's a couple of troubleshooter pieces but I've replaced them with pieces that won't, uh, they won't do anything for robot damage. As far as fire resistance goes, I have 25. That's from one of the armor pieces. Uh, as far as my perks go, I don't have any defensive perks other than blocker, which isn't going to do anything at all when it comes to energy damage. All right, so the toughest part about testing is getting things to cooperate. Uh, what I'd like to show is one enemy at a time. Okay, there is a Robobrain. Uh, there is a... There we go. Yeah, Robo... Oof, okay, there's the Gutsy. <laughs> So that's what flame damage looks like from a gutsy. Instant death, pretty much. The nice thing is it, uh, let's see, I think I would like to take that gutsy out. Remove him from the equation since we already know what that looks like. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll see if we can get a turret right here, get its attention. There's a laser turret and, uh, instant death. All right, so here we've got a protector on. They don't tend to do much. Uh, just typically, so that's not a big thing. Now, we've got, uh, Robo-Brains. They deal- Wow, oh, okay. Let's do a little bit of healing. Start with the full health, but Robo- Yeah, Robo-Brains do a lot of damage as well. Alright, now let's have a look at an Assaultron Head Laser. Let's get this, uh, get this one. There we go. Assaultron Head Laser, and that is instant death as well. Alright, I'm still on the live server, but I have switched characters because I want to show one more thing, how it looks in the live game. So I'm wearing power armor. The specific effects don't matter, because what I want to show is the uh, interaction between laser turrets and electric absorption. And for those that don't know, electric absorption, uh, energy weapons actually recharge your fusion cores and give you uh, health regen as well. Now I've unequipped, yeah, normally I have ricochet going, but I've unequipped ricochet because that'll kind of muddy the results a little bit. Uh, because I have vampire weapon, so that will will give me healing. So if I can get this laser to just shoot me, and you can see I'm getting no healing at all from electric absorption. There was a little bit of healing at the very end, but that was from Born Survivor trying to trying to do its thing. So currently in the live game, electric absorption gets no benefit at all from laser turrets. Okay, so now we are on the uh, test server. And if you remember before, everything kind of melted me. Gutsy Flamers, so there's one. Let's see if I can get its attention. So Gutsy Flamers before, and I have everything the same. I, I don't have fireproof. Uh, my armor is the same armor. Uh, I've got 25 fire resistance, which isn't a whole lot, but there we go. Give me some flame, maybe. Hello. <laughs> of course, if the robot doesn't cooperate. Uh... All right, I think I'll have to find another one. All right. That's fine. We'll, uh... Oh, jeez. Okay. The, uh... Yeah, the Robobrain does about... As near as I can tell, the Robobrain damage is maybe a little bit less. It's still, it's still quite a bit. But it's not instant... It's not super instant death like it was before. So the Robobrain is actually, uh... It's been dialed back a little bit. Alright, now that my health is full, let's see. Now that here's the turret again. Now you can see it's still doing damage, but it's way less. I mean, that's been dialed down so much. Uh, I would have been dead twice already by now. Uh, but now it's uh, it's a manageable amount. Now what I want to do is find another gutsy. One that will actually, or is it a handy? Whatever it is. Something with a flamer. Oh, there we go. As you can see, well, okay, I have a stim pack going at the moment. Okay, now it's worn off. But as you can see, two flamers together, and I don't have fireproof. All I have is the 25 fire resistance, the same as I had on the live game. And I was instantly dead before. Uh, it still does damage, but it's a lot more manageable. Now let's see if we could find a protector on, because they don't do much in the live game. So let's see what they do. Let's get rid of, eh, not that. Let's get rid of the turrets. All right, don't want to muddy the waters. Okay, so Protectron still does not much. I mean, it's, it's you know, it does damage. I mean, it's noticeable, but it doesn't do a whole lot. All right, let's find, okay, we've got an Assaultron. Let's make it angry. And we can see if there's any difference with, because um, before it was pretty much instant death. 
Uh, I mean, that does damage. I mean, it's definitely noticeable, but it is not instant death. So it actually gives you time to react, which obviously I didn't do. But yeah, that's been dialed down as well. So it looks like adjustments have been made all the way around as far as robot and turret damage. Now, one thing I should mention is that this is, this is all on the test server. It's not live yet. Changes could be made again. So the results we're seeing may not be the final result. And this is not coming until the December update. So it's still going to be a couple of months on the live server when we have to deal with how things are now. But I have switched characters again. I back to my power armor character, the same, the same armor as on the live game. And I've got max rank electric absorption. And I just want to see what it's like versus a, a laser turret. All right, so there is a laser turret, and as you can see, it's actually, I mean, our fusion core was already fully charged, so it wouldn't do that, but it's, uh, yeah, charging the health, and yeah, I could stand here forever. In fact, I could probably stand here and tank everything forever, so now if you have electric absorption in a silo, everything will heal you, not just the robots. And there you have it, uh, just a quick look at changes that are coming to robot damage and turret damage, at least energy turret damage. Whether that's good or bad, that's gonna depend on your point of view. The people want the, the wasteland to be a more dangerous place, probably are going to be disappointed. The people that constantly die in silos will probably be pretty happy. Either way, that's all the information I have right now. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.